Hi friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Train. Today we are going to discuss some important terms related to food safety and security. First of all, what is FSSAI? Which is Food Safety and Standards Authority of India. And this FSSAI or Food Safety and Standards Authority of India India was established under the Act Food Safety and Standards Act 2006. The headquarters of this Food Safety and Standards Authority of India is New Delhi. What is PFA? PFA is Prevention of Food Adulteration Act. This act was enacted in the year 1954. Next one is APIDA. What is APIDA? Which is Agricultural and Processed Food Products Export Development Authority. And this authority was established by the Government of India under Agricultural and Processed Food Products Export Development Authority Act 1985. APIDA is Agricultural and Processed Food Products Export Development Authority. BIS, the Bureau of Indian Standards. BIS is Bureau of Indian Standards. It is a national standards body of India working under Ministry of Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution. And it is established by the Bureau of Indian Standards Act 1986. Bureau of Indian Standards Act 1986. Next one is EIC. EIC means Export Inspection Council. Export Inspection Council was formed under the Export Quality Control and Inspection Act 1963. Next one is MAPIDA, that is the Marine Products Export Development Authority and this was set up by an act during 1972. The Marine Products Export Promotion Council was established in the year 1961 and this council, that is the Marine Product Export Development Council was converged into MAPIDA, that is the Marine Products Export Development Authority in 1972. MAPIDA was formed in 1972. ACMA Agricultural Produce Grading and Marking Agricultural Produce Grading and Marketing Marking Act 1937 which was amended in 1986 and it is known as ACMARC and this act provides quality standards for grading, packing and marking of agricultural and animal husbandry products including ghee and butter. The quality parameters of products cover mainly Compositional characteristics and adulteration aspects. The ACMARC, uh, it deals with the conceptual characteristics and adulteration aspects of agricultural and animal husbandry products. Next one is JECFA, that is Joint FAO WHO Expert Committee on Food Additives. This Joint FAO and WHO Expert Committee on Food Additives is an international scientific expert committee administrated jointly by Food and Agricultural Organization of the United Nations that is FAO and the World Health Organization WHO. It is formed in 1956. It is formed to evaluate the safety of food additives, contaminants, naturally occurring toxicants and residues of veterinary ducts in food. Next one is GEMRA, that is the Joint Food and Agricultural Organization and WHO 
expert meetings on microbiologist risk assessment that is gemra the gemra is an international scientific expert group which is administered by fao and who it provides scientific risk assessment for selected pathogens to the codes alimentarius commission and it also develops guidelines for risk assessment and provides expert advice on risk management the joint fao and who expert meetings on microbiological risk assessment began in 2000 it was formed in 2000 next one is jmpr that is the joint uh fao and who meeting on pesticide residue and this is an international expert scientific group administered jointly by food and agricultural organization and uh, world health organization and it was formed in 1963 it review residues and analytical aspects on the pesticide then estimate the maximum residue levels then review toxicological data and estimate acceptable daily intakes for humans of the pesticides under consideration and this is about jmpr next one is wto wto is the world trade organization it is an intergovernmental organization that is concerned with the regulation of international trade between nations and the headquarters is in geneva switzerland and it is founded in 1965 next one is tbt that is technical barriers to trade this is an wto agreement that is the wto agreement on technical barriers to trade this came into force on 1995 and the may it aims to ensure that regulations standards testing and certification procedures do not create unnecessary obstacles to trade and this is an agreement by wto and it deals to ensure the regulation standards testing and certification procedures do not create unnecessary obstacles to trade next one is sps sps is sanitary for protection of human and animal health and phytosanitary for protection of plant health measures that is sanitary and phytosanitary measures it covers or this sps measures covered by the agreement of wto are those aimed at the protection of human animal or plant life for health from certain risk this is about sps and fsa next one is ruko ruko means repurpose used cooking oil ruko is repurpose used cooking oil FSSA launched Ruko as an ecosystem to enable the collection and conversion of used cooking oil to biodiesel. Ruko aims at conversion of used cooking oil to biodiesel. Next one is HACCP. HACCP means Hazard Analysis and Critical Control Point. HACCP stands for Hazard Analysis and Critical Control Point. It is an internationally recognized system aimed for reducing the risk of safety hazards in food. And the HACCP system requires that potential hazards are identified and controlled at specific points in the process. next one is gmp gmp means good manufacturing practice good manufacturing practice is a system for ensuring that products are consistently produced and controlled according to quality standards and this gmp is designed to minimize the risk involved in any pharmaceutical production that cannot be eliminated through testing the final product this is about gmp 
Next one is GLP. GLP means Good Laboratory Practice. Good Laboratory Practice or GLP is a set of principles intended to assure the quality and integrity of non-clinical laboratory studies that are intended to support research or marketing permits for products regulated by government agencies. Next one is GHP. GHP is Good Hygienic Practices. Good Hygienic Practices. Next one is GAP. GAP means Good Agricultural Practice. Good Agricultural Practice are specific methods which when applied to agriculture create food for consumers or further processing that is safe and wholesome. And the GMP, GLP, GHP and GAP are the basic building blocks for HACCP. What are the building blocks of HACCP? They are good manufacturing practice, good laboratory practice, good hygienic practice and good agricultural practice. Thank you for listening this video and if you like this video give us a thumbs up, please subscribe our channel, share this with your friends and leave your valuable comments. Thank you.